Hey everybody, Boss here. So last week sometime recently they released the uh, Record Store Day uh, Black Friday 2021 list. I'm going to give you my take about the list and what I might be interested in. So uh, stick around and don't touch that dial. Okay, so uh, I'm on the Record Store Day page. I'm looking at the Black Friday 2021 list. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, the things that I'm interested in. Honestly, uh, I don't see a big problem with the list personally. On any Record Store Day uh, list that comes out, uh, there are only a, few, a handful of records that I'm actually interested in. And there are a few records on this list also that I'm interested in. So I don't see a big difference in a lot of other Record Store Day releases. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe because I'm older and what I'm interested in. So one of the things is this uh, 1971 that really starts here. Aerosmith. I'm definitely interested in picking this up. This sounds pretty cool. Uh, so this looks like some um, never before heard performance uh, showcase early raw talent of uh, the future of the band. One year before signing to Columbia Records and two years before their first album. So uh, this has uh, uh, Dream On, uh, Walk on the Dog that I'm familiar with the other the other songs I think I'm I think I know somebody but the other songs I'm not all that familiar with so I just be would be very interested in hearing this release okay so let's keep on moving down here so uh, the next one I'm interested in is Blackberry Smoke uh, this is uh, I believe this is a live uh, release I am a fan of Blackberry Smoke I think they're a really good band. Uh, so they kind of remind me of uh, 38 Special and um, Leonard Skinner uh, type music, so uh, which I de which I definitely enjoy. So I do like Blackberry Smoke. I have I think I have about three other albums right now. So I would definitely would be interested in picking this one up. There is an Alice Cooper. I'm a big fan of Alice Cooper. So this is an RSD first release. Uh, this is. Uh, their 14th solo album uh, that was originally released in 2011. This is a 45 RPM pressing. I believe it's on two LPs. Uh, so um, uh, one problem with this is probably going to be expensive. Don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to afford to pick it up, but I would like to pick it up anyways. Let's go ahead and keep on looking here. And the last one on this first page here would be the alternate live Fleetwood Mac. So I'm a big fan of Fleetwood Mac. Um, I do have like this one here, which is uh, Stevie Nicks. Uh, they call it rarities, but really most of these are just um, uh, alternate takes of uh, a lot of songs, uh, a lot of our popular songs. So uh, it's a very good album. I consider this an alternate takes album, personally, or an, or an alternate album, even though it's, it's called rarities. So I have that. Uh, this one here, which, which was another Record Store Day release. I'm not sure exactly which year. It uh, doesn't say, uh, but uh, this is a Fleetwood Mac Mirage, alternate Mirage. So this is the same kind of thing. It's just alternate takes of all the uh, all the songs of this album. And then this one here, this is also an alternate Fleetwood Mac. This is also a Record Store Day release. There is a little Record Store Day logo. So again, this is just uh, alternate takes of songs of this album. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of these. I'm a fan of these alternate take albums and I'm interested in picking up this one. It's also a Rhino album. Uh, Rhino puts out really good releases. So, um, so I'm definitely interested in picking up this one. Let's go ahead and look down the list here. So the first one that sticks out to me is Night Ranger. Uh, as you all might know, I am, I am a fan of Night Ranger. So we have this one here. This is a Night Ranger. Uh, first, time on uh, first time on vinyl. It's the 10th anniversary uh, release. This is their 10th album entitled uh, Somewhere in California. So I'm definitely interested in picking this up. I'm a big fan of Night Ranger. Okay, and we have uh, this one here. We have Ozzy Osbourne, No More Tears, Picture Disc. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of interested in this. I do, I do like Picture Disc in general. Sometimes they sound great, sometimes that they don't sound great. But I'm an Ozzy fan. So this one is on my radar. Um, so not as excited about the other ones I showed you, but I'm definitely uh, interested somewhat in this release. Let me keep on looking down the list here. And we have this one here by Poison, uh, Flesh and Blood. I do not have this album. My wife is a huge uh, Poison fan. Uh, I'm just a little bit kind of concerned about this one, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because it looks like this album here uh, with this... Uh, 
with the side uh, OB here. Kind of looks like it was made by the same uh, people. So I have roughly about six of these records. Three of them have issues. Uh, three of them are warped. So uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and show you this record here, uh, the way it looks on my turntable. As you can see here, it definitely has a warp on it. I have one other one that's warp is a little worse than this, and another one where the warp is not as bad. So um, I am concerned on uh, this poison release. Uh, is this going to be warped as well? But I still, I'm probably still going to end up uh, getting it. So it says here that there's 4,000 available, so it should, it should be pretty easy to get. So now we're on the third page. I think there's only uh, one I'm interested in this page, which is... The Weird Al uh, Osaka pop star single right here. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, so, um, although I do already have the song, it was on uh, a, uh, a recently released Dr. Demento album uh, that I do have. I, I believe it's, it's from that album. So, but this is the 12-inch single. So we'll see if I get this or not. It depends on what the price is. Um, I did go ahead and already uh, asked for that day off for uh, Record Store Day uh, Black Friday. So I'll be in line and I'm going to try to pick up as, as many of these as I can. So, uh, and pretty much that's uh, all there is for this video. I do want to thank you for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is a great time to do so. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash on that uh, bell icon so you get notifications when I put up new videos. But again, thank you and I'll see you all next time.